I, I became dissatisfied with the current representation and heard lots of other people who were. And I knew that if I was going to be complaining about uh, how Puna was being represented, that I would be willing to stand up and, and represent it myself. Mm -hmm. I feel quite capable based upon my experience and my education of doing so. It's a time in my life that I, 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 can, I really can afford to do so. All of my children are grown. So, uh, so I thought, well, this is a time for me, uh, me to uh, make a contribution. All right. And last kind of personal question, a little bit off the wall, but it matters to me. Are you reading any books right now, and what book is that? What book is that? That's, that's a very good question. I just, I just was loaned one because I had to take a, a short emergency trip, and a friend of mine loaned me a book called Land Use in America. Hmm. And it, it deals with uh, various sorts of policies that are, that are being, uh, being done. And I might say I was loaned another book at the same time that I've read many times before. That was Huckleberry Finn. Is that right? Yeah. All right. But I, I do try to uh, keep a, keep some book going all the time. Probably the most informative book I've read in the last year was Omnivore's Dilemma. All right, Michael Pollan, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's a very, very influential book on my thinking. Hmm. Okay, the, I have a few Puna issues. I, the first one, maybe we should kind of flesh out a little bit as a conversation um, in case people aren't quite aware, but i really like to know your thoughts on the Woodland Center and um, Long's Drugs and KFC and um, Burger King coming okay. in, this, which is a bit contentious because the background basically is um, in uh, Puna, or Pahoa, let's start over, is a very old town. And I think the Akibono Theater, I've heard, is the oldest theater in Hawaii, at least 100 years old, I've heard. And so right at the very entrance of Pahoa, there's basically two, you know, American franchises, Burger King and KFC showing up, and there's going to be a Long's Drugs. And in the beginning, there was, you know, it's kind of like, well, you're not, you, we can't have this happening in a historic town. But then at the same time, it's going to bring in jobs. Um, and, you know, on one side, you hear people say, oh, it's only going to bring in, like, you know, 30 jobs here and 30 jobs there. But then also, you know, in Pune, 30 jobs, that's nothing to sneeze at, really. Yeah. Uh, what, what, do you, what, do you, what do you stand on that? That's a hard one. Well, Mike, if they had come and asked me, those businesses may or may not have been what I would have recommended. Okay. Uh, I, I, I patronize Long's Drug Store. In fact, the Long's and Hilo is one of the best, uh, best buys on table wine around. But uh, I, I, I don't, don't patronize Burger King or a KFC myself. Mm -hmm. and, and actually, I, I might not have recommended those. But they are there. Right. Okay. Now, there are two issues that have arisen w with regard to that development that, that are still problematic. I'll deal with one first. They, all of the building has been done since their building permit expired. Hmm. Okay. I did not and, know that. And there, that's, that's something that's being looked at within, within the council now that they're looking at it. So that is problematic. And in fact, they have not followed the, the due process. Okay, and I, we will see if that causes a problem with that development, but it's not fair to expect other people to follow it and, and, not, and not have uh, that particular development do it. So that's one issue mm -hmm. that has arisen, is, is their, their building permit had already expired really before they, they started constructing the buildings. The other uh, issue, and this is something that needs to be worked on in a matter of urgency, is the traffic problems being mm -hmm. generated there. Uh, Kahakai Boulevard, right, right next to the development there, is one of two most dangerous intersections in the state. As it happens, the other one is just down the road, Angelo Boulevard. I've heard this, and this is, just to reiterate, this isn't the state, this isn't in the Hawaii, this isn't in the district, this isn't all of the In the entire state of Hawaii, right. you have a higher rate of crashes at those two intersections along there, and one of them, Kahakai, right next to this development. You have an additional one where Opahoa Village Road goes onto Highway 130 that is also a, a, an intersection with lots of crashes. So you have a place that already has some very bad traffic problems. Yeah. And you're introducing uh, three new businesses, all three with drive through windows. Uh, and there have been some modifications at the expense of the developer, I, I, want, to, I want to say, okay. have, have been done to the road. But there are still several unresolved problems. So really, following the appropriate process and dealing with the traffic, which was supposed to include a traffic impact assessment report, uh, 
those things have not been done, and this is this concerns me. And I I speak with people. I had a had a friend, you know, a future constituent, call me this morning, uh, uh, reminding me about the traffic problems. Hmm. So on the one hand, yeah, we we do need uh, more commerce in Pahoa. Mm -hmm. That may not have been what I would have chosen, but regardless whether I would have chosen it or not, it's there. Okay. Now, since it's there. It needs to be done right, and certainly we, we are facing a very severe traffic problem there that I want to see them resolved. Yeah. That, that's going to require cooperation on the part of the developer, the county, because there are some county roads, and the State Department of Transportation. Mm -hmm. Now, since you mentioned that, I'm going to jump ahead on to a different question. Um, I wasn't able to attend the, I think there was a meeting in KL about six months ago where there was a, uh, some sort of specialist about building roundabouts. Um, was that was that having to do with the Woodland Center? A roundabout is basically uh, an alternative to having intersections where cars can kind of um, do a loop and you can join in and merge in the lanes. So a continuous flow of traffic is being able to be circulated, um, hopefully less accidents. Do you know anything about that? Well, uh, just on the issue of roundabouts, I'll start there. Yeah, there, there was a, have, have been actually a couple of presentations, one of them more recently. Uh, it's, it's a new way of uh, having an intersection control uh, as an alternative to a, a signal light, a traffic light. Uh, they have been proven worldwide to be uh, safer, uh, less costly uh, in terms of construction and operation, and less costly in terms of provision, providing emergency services because there are fewer collisions and less severe collisions. Hmm. So that's what a roundabout is. In the, in the Pahoa situation in, in particular, there is some discussion. The Department of Transportation seems to be indicating that they are, they are looking favorably at putting a roundabout at Kahakai because now there's a, a section where that development is taking place that is, is barricaded off to Highway 130. And unless, really, unless you're very familiar with the area, you might not quite understand. But part of the road has been barricaded off to where now it's a three way with new development. Uh, they're looking at opening that up and putting a roundabout in there. I don't think anything is finalized, but the Department of Transportation is talking very favorably. It's a classic situation where you have a very busy intersection and you need to need to increase the capacity, which is, in addition to safety, another thing roundabouts do. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if they put one in there or not, but it may well be, be the first one in, on the east side of the island. And is that something that um, the county council has um, pull with? I mean, is it, or is this kind of already... Is this in the Department of Transportation outside of your, your, the purview of the County Council? That's an important point. That's a very important point. And, and it's one of the areas where each part of government has their own responsibilities and the other cannot influence it and still where they have to cooperate. So it's a very delicate, very delicate balance. Uh, Kahakai uh, that crosses is a county road, okay, and Highway 130 is a state road. And the state will have the larger State or the State Department of Transportation will. However, the approval of the development and the traffic impact at the, at the development there all came from the county. So the county mayor, the uh, public works or county council will not be able to tell the state, you must put a roundabout or a traffic light in here. But there are certainly a lot of areas which we need to collaborate and, and work with them on to make the intersection safer. And certainly pressure always helps to get things like that to happen. Now, would, would you be kind of um, as much as possible pushing for that, or do you think that's a good idea, the roundabout, or um, is that... From everything I know about roundabouts, they, it needs to be seriously considered. Okay. Now, each intersection is a little different, and you have to assess it for that particular intersection. But everything I know about roundabout indicates that it needs to be looked at very carefully there, and given, given a, a really an equitable sort of comparison. Okay, great. That sounds like there's a lot to know about roundabouts. <laughs> there is, there is. It's, 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 it's a coming thing. One thing that I want to talk about, to go back to the Woodland Center, um, I got fired up um, when the whole Woodland Center thing was going was gonna to happen. And, um, well, you know, once I realized, kind of like you said, it's coming, it's there, and what are we going to do about it? So once you get to that point, you know, whether you're going to like Burger King or not like Burger King, it, the question then becomes, is Pahoa you know, a really a, an historic uh, site, and what do we do about this? Uh, so about a, about a year ago, I, I put something on um, Puna Web, which is a, a forum, and I was saying, let's do a, what's the status of a design district um, for, for Pahoa? And this is really important to me because it's one of these solutions where um, we can kind of get the best of, of both worlds.